With Airbnbs and VRBOs, many people are used to renting out their homes to strangers, but one 84-year-old Billings resident had the shock of her life when she found two unknown men standing in the middle of her dining room, assuming it was their Airbnb. At 84 years old, Karen Kaiser has never stayed at an Airbnb, let alone rented her home as one. That's why what happened on August 1st came as such a surprise. I was just sitting watching TV and all of a sudden my little dog started barking like crazy and I didn't get up right away and come out because I thought it was probably some of the kids had come over and he just kept barking so I come out and there were two guys standing in my dining room looking around. Two men walked into her house through the back door, put ice in the freezer, and then saw Karen. They claimed they had the wrong address, but Kaiser said something doesn't add up. They were looking for 28, and I, there isn't even a 28 on this street. The men left, and Karen immediately called Billings Police. Somebody just walking into her house that she doesn't know, um, yeah, that just automatically was scary for me. I, I mean, that was somebody's case in her house. Kaiser's daughter, Kathy Swenson, is worried for her mom, especially after she says police told her this is likely a scam. Although she isn't sure if her mom was the intended target, she wonders if the men who walked into her home may have intentionally been given the wrong address. They're the ones that got taken, but the fact of the matter is they walked into my mom's house. <laughs> and that was the scary part for me. So I do, I do believe it was a scam that needs to be, people need to be aware that, you know, you could be, you could be the next victim. Even if the event was an honest mistake, it's left Kathy thankful. Anything could happen. They could have they could have hurt her. They could have, you know, taken anything they wanted out of here if they were the, you know, some type of thieves or whatever. I mean, that was an open situation for a lot of different things to happen. And I don't even like thinking about those kind of things, but it's like there's too many too many things that could have happened that luckily for us didn't. In Billings, Phil Van Pelt, MTN News.